Alrighty you guys, so solo leveling arise within its reset had a little bit of a download and from that the okay <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this but I'm gonna leave it till last. So first thing first, Battlefield of Chaos has now additional two two more waves being eleven and twelve. Not really too bothered to be honest. I'm I'm happy then I'm I'm content by just doing the previous ones. Um because I mean, look, we're all making progress, especially with this bar that they've added in. It does actually help out tremendously. So, I mean, it's cool. I mean, hopefully they've put the higher rate up in terms of the resources, and it, of course it'll put it'll give people more of a challenge. But I'm, I'm not really too bothered about this, to be honest. It's there though for those that wanna uh, try a harder version of it. Um, so there's that. But obviously, with the Hunter Archive, Emma is now officially available. And they have added in her skin. Now this is where things get a little bit dicey because as you guys can see, it's not the skin that I was expecting. Obviously this did also get leaked by the way by Alpha a while back of course. Um, but here it is. And so in order to get it, just do the uh, secret library as per usual and then you will get this version of her skin on her original kit of course. Um, don't know how I feel about it. You know, it, it was weird initially seeing it, but um, I, I guess it looks kind of okay, kind of alright. No, myself, I'll probably will equip it. <laughs> Just saying, but pink, 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 fair freaking play. Now, this is where things get a little bit confusing on what the developers are doing because, as you guys know, leading up to the summer vacation reset um, and this week in particular, um, realistically, I was really thinking that, oh, okay. You know, we have a lot of things resetting and there's practically nothing to do for some for the summer vacation now. And it being a summer event, which they've been well they kind of hyped up for, I thought the part two was gonna be happening this week. It makes sense, right? Drop part two, lead it into the one hundred day celebration, that way you've got an active player base enjoying the game, grinding it out, preparing for Hunt Semi or Go, whichever, and obviously preparing for the one hundred day celebration. And then obviously once that is done we're heading into well once the uh summer vacation content is done then the big update drops of course right people playing the game staying active with that well uh, yeah i don't know why they decided to do this but as you guys can see um it's it's a wasteland over here like that it i can literally hear crickets because there's practically nothing to do so yeah, they decided not to reset anything, you know, even though we've got an Alicia skin and an Emma skin, they just thought that, you know what, we'll leave it. And I don't know why, because this is just not it. <laughs> this is not it. Um, thankfully, they kept on the mini event, so we can keep on continuously gaining these resources on a daily basis for the next week, so that's dope. I will gladly take that. Outside of that, though, it is dead 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 i don't know why they decided to do this very unfortunate um again they could have quite easily continued on this week so that way people would have stayed active to not only get the emma skin but the alicia skin the skewer new weapon that would have been fantastic to grind up and get keep the player active keep the players engaged lead into the 100 day celebration people are doing their logins it would have been picture perfect um, and not only that, you know, people would have been able to utilize the whole um, switching artifacts and costing you nothing because it's kind of giving you a reason to grind out the game, right? By putting in additional bosses and whatnot through the summer event to uh, go at it. I mean, in general, this is going to help us out. FYI, it's only on for four days and 22 hours. What the frick? Bro, what? Four days and 22 hours? That's good. Nah. <laughs> if you're gonna have if you're gonna give us uh, an, an event that supports us in consuming less gold can you do it throughout the whole of the celebration event please pretty please <laughs> so that is a uh, pretty pretty awkward if you ask me you know so there's that very very questionable things being done here I will say but again it is very very unfortunate um, with how things are because it's just like you know I mean, in general, it's going to help us out. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, when, when it comes to people just doing general content, whatever you're trying to grind out, I mean, okay, fantastic. That's going to help us out. But I was just hoping maybe there's going to be something that is going to be fun, engaging, you know, nothing too sway. But I don't know. I guess, I guess they're saving it for 
the big update now I, I get it i understand what they're doing because at the end of the day they want to make it look like that there's a lot of content being delivered on a big update day and so that's kind of why they're savoring um uh the part two for the summer stuff for the update day along with the 100 day celebration so not a big fan of how that's being dealt but at the end of the day what can you do that's the developers they decided to do that it is what it is not the best of looks because now we've got a dead week of nothing for the summer event vacation now again coming back to the whole artifact swapping you know it's on for four days well practically five days because you know it started today right it's on for five days i mean at this point just make it permanent there really is no need to make that an event. I mean, I've done a whole video kind of giving my opinions on what more they could do to support us through the uh, gold cons uh, consumption situation. Not by completely removing it, because I understand that they don't want to do that, but like, it's on for four days, which, I mean, it's going to help us out that, you know, a, well, a bit, should I say, but not, not that crazy. Man. It's not going to help us out tremendously to where we need it to be, of course. Um, so, yeah. I mean, just make it permanent, because right now it's kind of a bit of a slap in the face with the way they've kind of gone about doing it. That's just kind of like my, my personal take on it, of course, and how I feel about it. Um, just by making it on for less than a week. Less than a week! And it's not even going to be continued through the celebration event, when it's... Well, the reason why it's being applied and why it will be continued to be applied, it will be because of the celebration period. We haven't even started the celebration period yet. It's a dead week. <laughs> the the, the, the summer vacation are on a pause. So, bad timing. <laughs> Very bad timing, but um, yeah, I'm hoping they learn from the mistakes, of course, and uh, listen to what the playbase have to say, because of course, if you guys are unaware, um, JP is going to be having a live stream, and I think some voice actors are going to be there. I don't know. It, I, you know when JP get their hands on things, um, things might be a little bit more serious. That's, that's what I'm hoping for, you know? Because we need to see those changes in order for longevity for this game of course um in order to be in a in a, in a good standing because that's that's exactly what i want it to be but it really comes down to on um, you know the death of themselves on what they think of it and i get it money at the end of the day is going to kind of be the uh, deciding factor of things but uh, i mean you can still make money just give the players what they want and we're going to be there day one supporting it you know? but, hey ho all right let's end this and uh there there we go beautiful Okay, how much points do I get? Because I did like four keys here, or three keys. Here's the thing, even though I'm asking them to extend it, they've done it in a two round period. In my eyes, I'm just like, look, you start it now and just keep it going until, I don't know, let's say there's one last week left up until the September update. Like have it just, have it there for the majority of like the, the, the acceleration period as well as the, the update itself. Is that too much? Am I asking for too much? I mean, it's not even that much because you're only affecting the, 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 the swapping of the gold. Am I the only one thinking they should just kind of extend it to where it's it, it's available now up until let's say the 4th of September, right? Just give us a big chunk. So that way we've kind of got this side of the gold consumption out of the way during the celebration period because it obviously is an event, right? So it makes sense rather than just kind of splitting it up.